there, my name's Kaylee, and this is Rowan, and today we're going to talk to you about our three to six month must-haves. He's currently coming up to nine months, so we did this quite a while ago, but we know what we used. So, the first thing that he absolutely loved was his Sophie giraffe, and people went mad for these, but to me it looked like a dog toy, but um, our friend bought him a Gertie goose, which he loved, so... We ended up getting him the giraffe as well, but would say the giraffe was better when he was younger because the legs are littler and he could get these right in his teeth when he was teething. But he also just loves her, so he carries them around like little cuddly toys. Next thing that we loved at three to six months is books. So at this age, apart from starting to teeth in the other thing we were noticing that was that he was getting much more aware of what was going on and playing a lot more. So he loved books because he loves the sound of our voice, don't you? And these That's Not My ones were brilliant because there's loads of things for him to touch on the pages. If you want the book now? Um, the other thing I love about these is that they will last such a long time. So he loved them at three to six months, he loves them still now. And as he grows, they'll just get more and more interactive. It started with just our voice, then he started touching the things. Obviously as he gets bigger he'll be learning to read and following along a little bit better so I feel like there's a lot of value for money and there's loads of different ones, this is just one of them, there's tigers, dogs, if it's an animal they've probably made one, tractors, Christmas ones, all kinds. The other things that we loved at three to six months is Lamar's toys, they do loads but they're really interactive. So a lot of them have got black and white on them, which is good for when they're young because they can see black and white a lot better. But they have also got lots of colours on them. So for a while he was much more interested in this side. They're also crinkly and they have teethy bits on there. This one's got rings that he likes to chew. Little bobbly bits on the side that he likes to play with. They've all got different things on and they've all got hooks on, which is brilliant because we can clip them to the pram. Um, onto his play gym, everything like that. But they do loads of different styles. That was his favourite for a long time. He's also got this robot and his head spins around and a dragon. But all of their toys are really interactive. They've all got crinkly and black and white and they rattle and they all seem to hold his attention really well. He is now sitting with <laughs> the biggest pile of toys. Having a good time, aren't you? So at three to six months we started using a baby play gym, um, we sometimes use it as just a mat because the one we got was skip hop and it has like crinkles on the mat and mirrors on the mat um, so we try and use it for tummy time which he didn't really enjoy but um, they helped a little bit and then we'd attach other toys to the top and use those toys um, but that's lasted quite a while, I don't think he uses it anymore but really good just to have somewhere safe to lie flat um, and you could just chuck it in the washing machine when he's sick. Another thing along those lines is lots of blankets um, because we have hard floors which are easy to wipe um, we used to use a lot of thick blankets to put under him on the floor so that he wasn't hurting his head and it was nice and soft for him especially at that age when he started to learn to kind of pick his head up a bit and he would throw it back so sometimes we still put blankets under his um, play mat just to give it extra padding just because we don't have carpets if we had carpets we probably wouldn't need to um, when we visited my mum we never needed to because she's got carpets but um, you, he did slam his head a lot didn't you? Mm? another thing that we used a lot at that age is one of these which is just like a little sleep sack obviously that's not a three to six month one. We didn't use those in the first few months, probably majoritively because he was born in summer, but also he liked being swaddled, so he was swaddled, and I think even if he'd been winter, we probably would have just swaddled him in a thicker blanket. Um, as he got a bit bigger, he didn't like that as much anymore. We didn't need to swaddle him, and he liked having his arms out to move around and roll around. And he's sporting them now, because it's nearly bedtime for you, isn't it? You don't want to, though, yeah. do you? That's why you're still awake. Hmm. Um, so he's got his arms completely free. You can get him with all kinds of different togs for different weathers. We tend to always use the same one because we just have the heating on all night for him. 
um, but they're brilliant because you know they can't kick them off, pull them over their head, you know they're really safe but as well as just being safe I really like that you can't roll out of it or kick it off in the night and end up too cold. Um, the only thing is he does tend to get cold hands in the night. Don't you Bean Bean? Now the next things we loved was when we were out and about. We did have the pram, um, but if it was a quick trip or a pram was going to be bulking in the way, at this point he'd gotten too heavy to just kind of carry around in our arms easily, which is what we were doing when he was newborn. If I went to the supermarket, one of us would just carry him because it really just didn't bother us. Um, but when he got a bit bigger and he was too heavy, we started using a baby carrier. And that's what Daddy loves. Daddy loves the baby carrier. This one is really comfortable. We've both used it. I have a lot, a lot of back problems, especially after having him. Um, and even I find it comfortable. And it does from 8 to £32. Pounds. So it's quite a good range. And it does four different carrying positions. So they can face in when they're young, out when they get bigger. And then eventually go onto your back. One of the next things is this, which is a bath support. Some was from Mother Care, which I know have shut down now, but I think you can still get them online. As you can see, it folds up quite small. So this is what it looks like when it's unfolded. Baby just sits in here, and it's mesh, so all the water just seeps right through, and it dries really quickly, um, just to be stored again. It's got this detachable little headrest that we used when he was quite young and as he grew out of it we took it off. It reclines at different settings as well depending on how old they are um, so this was really good because he grew out of a baby bath really quickly um, and he used to kick his legs so he was kind of hitting the top of it and when he couldn't hold his own hold himself up sitting still um, this was absolutely brilliant. We didn't use it, you can use it from newborn, we didn't, it was easier to use a baby bath, it uses less water and um, I had quite a difficult c-section so because of that I wasn't able to bend over the side of the bath um, so we just used a bath on our kitchen side um, but by the time he was this old, I, well I hadn't healed, that would be a lie but I was able to get to the bath with him a little bit um, and that was a lifesaver for holding him. You can get sponge inserts as well, but that was just a lot easier to put him in. So we also, at this age, started using the Dentinox Crayle Cap Shampoo. Um, and we started using this. I didn't use it so much when he was newborn. I did use it a little bit. He did get Crayle Cap from quite a young age. And we used the olive oil and this hairbrush. And we use it a lot more now that his soft spot's gone. Um, but these two, particularly around three months, um, he definitely got cradle cap before then, but we didn't start using this until he was about three months old. We were using like olive oils and stuff, which did seem to take it away for a while, and then it just wouldn't go, so this is what we used. Um, it does say suitable from birth, but I don't know if I would use it on him that young, just because you have to be so careful to keep it out of their eyes. Um, and when he was newborn he didn't sit still in the bath, he just screamed and flailed around and I just don't think it would have been practical to use it on him um, when he was that young, just because he wouldn't stay still in the bath, but he liked the bath a lot more by that age. Um, at three to six months we also started using the bedtime bath lotions, and yes, to get him to sleep at night, um, they did work quite a lot, I didn't use them on newborn sensitive skin runs in my family um, so just because I wasn't confident on putting him on it using them on him from such a young age we started using those at three to six months didn't we mwah, 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 mwah. yes and I think that's everything yeah that you really loved at that age wasn't it they do start using toys more, but there still isn't like a wide variety. It's just a case of having a few good toys like the Sophie, the Lamar's toys, um, and they're quite happy with that. I would say that we probably still used almost everything from our newborn must-haves, so I'll put a link for that below, um, because I would say almost everything in that was still relevant. I don't think there's anything, apart from the swaddles, that we don't still use. We used it all. 
that's what we loved, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.